What's up everyone, Rob from Mishimoto. Today we're going to install our baffled oil catch can on this 2012 BMW 328. This component also works with a number of other BMW chassis and engines, so be sure to check out our website for a full fitment list. Let's get started with the install. Tools recommended for installation include 2.5 and 4 millimeter Allen keys, a quarter inch ratchet, 10 and 13 millimeter sockets, 3 8 drive ratchet, flathead screwdriver, 7 8 wrench, and a heat gun. Installation time is under 30 minutes. Installation difficulty is a 3 out of 5. Locate and separate the hardware in your kit. The small bolts and washers will be used to secure the catch can to the bracket. The larger bolts will be used to secure the support strut to the bracket. Install the small washers over the small Allen bolts. Place the catch can bracket over the catch can and orient it as shown here. Then thread in the three bolts to secure the catch can, but do not fully tighten them yet. Install the two plastic fittings to the catch can and tighten them completely. Note that the threads on the fittings are tapered and will not be flush with the can when installed. Attach the support strut to the bracket using the two provided bolts. Thread the bolts in, but do not tighten them completely. Separate the hood release cable from the airbox. There are three clips that secure the cable. Disconnect the wiring harness from the mass airflow sensor. To release the connector, depress the black tab. Loosen the clamp that secures the intake hose to the mass airflow housing. Then separate the hose from the mass airflow housing. Remove the airbox from the vehicle by lifting it upward. The airbox is held in by three pegs and grommets. Locate the CCV hose attached to the front of the engine. Disconnect the hose from the valve cover by squeezing the tabs at the top of the hose and pulling the hose off. Then disconnect the wiring harness from the sensor at the other end of the hose. Separate the bottom of the hose by squeezing the tabs and pulling the hose off. Remove the fitting from the CCV hose. Peel back the protective foam covering from the hose and use a heat gun to gently warm the connection point. Then pull the hose off of the fitting. Repeat this process on the other end of the hose. Now reinstall the CCV hose fittings to the engine. Reconnect the wiring harness to the sensor on the CCV fitting. Remove the two strut bolts on the passenger side strut tower. Remove the screw that secures the top of the heat shield below the passenger side strut tower. Lower the catch can assembly into place over the strut tower and secure it with the hardware you just removed. Then go back and tighten the two bolts that secure the support strut to the catch can bracket. Locate the hose with the smaller bend and install one of the provided hose clamps over the wider end. Install this end to the CCV fitting on the valve cover. Attach the other end of this hose to the fitting marked in on the catch can. Locate the hose with the large bend and install one of the provided hose clamps over the wider end. Install this end to the CCV fitting on the intake hose. Attach the other end of this hose to the fitting marked out on the catch can. Once the lines are led and installed on the catch can, go back and tighten the hose clamps that secure them to the fittings. No hose clamps are required at the catch can fittings. Check the routing on the hoses to make sure they're clear of the fan and tighten the bolts that secure the catch can to the bracket. Reinstall the airbox. Lower the airbox into place and align the inlet of the airbox with the duct on the vehicle.
Then align the pegs and grommets and push the airbox down to secure it. Reattach the intake hose to the airbox and secure it with the worm gear clamp. Reattach the wiring harness to the mass airflow sensor. Reattach the hood release cable to the airbox. Now that you have the catch can installed, it's time to fire up that BMW for a test drive. The contents of the catch can should be checked every thousand miles until a baseline for oil accumulation has been established. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check us out on Facebook to keep up with all of our new projects.